We're all about our community and giving back to it here at News for Jax. That's why we are talking with Jewish Family and Community Services this morning. They are working to provide presents for more than 1,700 children and seniors who need help through their programs. That includes those in foster care as well as Holocaust survivors. And right now, the program is very close to providing gifts for all of those people who need them the most, but they still need a little help from you all at home. They need almost 100 more people to step forward, fulfill those wish lists, and the deadline is quickly approaching. So joining us this morning is Colleen Rodriguez, CEO of the nonprofit, to talk more about the simple ways you can give back. Good to see you again, Colleen. Nice to see you. So let's talk about this. This is a, a long-standing tradition. Jewish Family and Community Services is all about helping out people year-round, but there's a big need during the holidays. Absolutely. We have several hundred children that are in our care in the foster care system. As you mentioned, we support Holocaust survivors and other seniors. And it's important and we want to make sure that everyone that we serve gets to celebrate the holiday that they want to celebrate, especially this, this year, which has been quite difficult. So how do you do that? The best way to do it, you have two choices. If you are comfortable shopping, you can reach out to us and we will give you a very specific wish list. All of our children and our seniors have written down what they would like to see this year. And you can go shopping and then drop it back off at our office. If you are not comfortable shopping, you are absolutely welcome to either make a cash donation and we do have people that will shop for us. Or you can order online and have it shipped directly to us, whichever is the best way for you that you're comfortable with. Here's a question for you. There's a lot of people that maybe don't have as much income or as much savings in the bank this year because of the pandemic. Can they still get involved? I mean, how, how big do you have to make this donation? Uh, so it, it's average is about $50, but even if someone wanted to give less than that or not spend that much, we can, we can blend presents together. We can blend donors together. We want everyone to get involved that's interested in getting involved. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people see Jewish family and community services and they say, well, I'm not Jewish, so I'm not eligible. That's not the case here. People get confused by that, and absolutely, we serve the entire community. All faiths are welcome here. These presents will be going to people that celebrate Christmas and Hanukkah and other holidays, and, and that goes the same for our volunteers and our donors. We, we welcome anyone who like to get involved with us. I want to talk about you and your team. When you are able to fulfill these wishes and put a smile on someone's face, what does that do for you, especially in, it's cliche, but uncertain times? This is the best part of our year. If you ask any of my staff, our case managers, our therapists, this is our favorite time because we get to deliver them directly to the homes. We're seeing the children's faces. We're seeing the caregivers' faces. And it just, it, it reminds us about why we're doing what we're doing. And it's, it's nice to be able to reach out to people, especially this year who felt very isolated. When children come into foster care or our seniors who haven't seen people for months, it's important that they get to celebrate the holiday and they get to see people. And it's, it's just, it's, mad, it's really a magical time. I hate to say that, but it's a magical time. <laughs> All kinds of cliches this morning. So we're looking at pictures and videos from years past, obviously before the pandemic, before people had to socially distance, before we even knew what that meant. What's it gonna be like this year to be able to make sure that every single person, the donors and the recipients are safe? So it'll, it'll, it's really critical. That's why we're giving people the option to shop or have it shipped directly to our agency. And then our case managers, case managers who are seeing these clients anyway will be dropping the presents off to their homes. We've been doing a lot of virtual visits and we've been dropping things off outside of homes and having people pick them up, constantly wearing masks and making sure we're keeping social distance. But we wanna make sure these presents get to these children and these seniors and so we're gonna make it happen jfcs.org that's the website you need we're also going to post it on our website newsforjax.com i'll also put it on uh, my social media channel so people can go back and help out people right here in our community colleen rodriguez jewish family and community services appreciate you and your team for all you do thank you so much